You're on the exhaust flying bolt there, for the top one anyway. It's kind of a pretty good design actually having that, like it just goes into that flying like that. And then, uh, I can press her. I think yeah, if we just tie it off to the side, let it hang a little bit, it won't interfere with the the damn uh, the head and pull it off. Uh, the good news is at least your oil cooler is not leaking. Yeah, two bottom ones, and then those just gotta be loose. And then I wonder if we, I bet you won't be able to pull, there's probably not enough play in that catalytic converter to pull it up and off without loosening the bottom flying, huh? That's probably so rusty. Yeah, so you, got, you got a uh, JB, uh, uh, I got some rust penetrator. You need me to get it? Spray on them? Well, my doll. Cause plus, I cut the loop. You got it off. You got the flange off, flange off. So now, and the lower bracket's still on, right? Yeah. On the bottom. Okay, so we'll have to put the ga the flange gasket in there. And then now we just take the AC compressor yeah, off. Yeah, I can see the gasket just kind of sitting there. Yeah, we'll put a new gasket in there when we get ready. And then we had to do the four bolts. <coughs> uh, uh, the four bolts and hang the air, comp uh, the air compressor. It. Yeah, AC compressor so it doesn't, uh, yeah. Man, we are. I'm almost ready to get the head off so I can look at them valves. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess if you look at more the, valves. The shaft of the, of the valve, I mean, it's not very big. No, it's not. I saw I was looking at those springs. Those springs are really small. I'll have to use my small universal spring compressor because my regular one I have is like for racing engines and for, you know, mm -hmm. like 350 Chevys and 400 Chevys and, you know, big blocks and, yeah. But I've got a universal, I'll pop those around. Those are tiny. It'll be easy peasy, man. And like I say, once we do, we'll just rubber mallet it a few times. Make sure that, because the dowels, you got two dowels on it mm -hmm. and it should just pull right off. So you just gotta get those four bolts off the AC compressor and uh, pull the head bolts out. She should come. B E A U D I'm sure. Is that AC compressor suspended? So not attached the head anymore. The flange brackets off back there. The uh, temperature. Uh, Coolant temperature sensor is unhooked. And is there any, I think there's one connector on the back of the head that's plugged in back there, it has to come off with a little, uh, what do you call it, a little Christmas tree or whatever you call it. Yeah. That's it. All right, let's do the head bolts and then we can take a look at that valve, man. <coughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs> uh, take the other bolts and you take take one of the new bolts and. Uh, maybe. I think it's 15. I think they, I actually, I think you're right. I think that's what they said it was.
<clears throat> and then just start in the middle and do a rotation out like this. You know what I'm saying? Start in the middle mm -hmm. and go in a circular pattern out as you loosen them up. Yeah, you're gonna need a breaker bar. <laughs> you want this ratchet that's down here on the uh, idler pulley? Or just use impact? <laughs> that's always the easiest way to do it. <clears throat> We're just gonna go this way. Though. Might as well. So they do it. You know, so every, everyone I've watched do it at, at works at the dealerships, the uh, online tips guy or looking for my extension. There it's it right there. <laughs> it's always right when you don't. Literally in front of my right face. in front of your face, man. I'm the you same way. For it. Don't wait. Well, don't worry. When you get older and you get in your 60s, it gets even worse, man. We have online tips and uh, uh, the guy from Georgia, the other Georgia guy. Um, yeah, they all use use the air tips. Maybe. Might want to use air impact at this point. You do got you do got to reverse, right? I guess you're gonna have to uh, use a breaker bar on those bad boys. Your engine's got extra tight torque, I guess, man. That's the only thing I can think of. What the hell? I always see those guys use impacts on them. The uh, what the hell? Can you reach that right there? Yeah. They always use the uh, air impacts on theirs, but if I just break them free. Yeah, and we can zip them out with anything. So we got to do that. We put them back in. We got to do the torque spec thing, and then you got to do a, a 130 degrees angled angle torque on the final final bolt torque. Now, so these are pretty torque, pretty pretty tight. Don't. Okay, don't strip it. Damn. Why are they so freaking hard? Shit, Batman. I wasn't born. Like that? Oh What's that? Go like that? Well, yeah, you should go up here, but. Try this one? Yeah, if you can. Again? Yeah. Go in a circular pattern. I mean, it, it, I guess it's not that vitally important when we're breaking them loose, but. I'm just fighting you that way. I gotta get around the other side to help you. The damn Jeep's so high, man. Let me get my air impact. Uh, I'd have to sit there and let my tank. Well, that's a, I mean, so unless you want to just do this. I mean, it was pretty. <sighs> what about a cheater bar? You hold it and I use a cheater bar. You got anything smaller than this a cheater bar? I see why they use their impacts now. Holy shit, Batman. There's no way in hell I could do this. I, I, I'm busting both nuts just watching you do that. Man. I'm, just, I'm like, holy crap. Holy crap. At least we got new head bolts. Gotta get that one off somehow. 
Yeah, I think. Get that one before why don't you I... get the compressor running while we're doing that, and then worst comes to worst, I'll get my air impact, and we can try it. Yeah, I mean, I'll get that. My... That damn husky has always been. Uh, I mean, I've got a uh, a real good one. I can't think of the name of it right now. An air impact that I had bought when I was working the dealership, and it still runs good. I can't remember the name of it. And it's supposed to be more powerful than that, that Husky. But that, that cheap Husky, it's got like 600 and some, some powered pounds of torque, but it, it takes just about anything loose. So we'll see. We'll see if it does the job. What? Does it got full full air? Doesn't sound very loud. It's not working? I think it was like stuck. Let me go, oh, all right. Let me go, I guess it's messed up. Huh. Isn't that nice? That was weird, right? Yeah, I hadn't used that in a while. I can't believe it's not, maybe it'll come back on. What the hell? Well, still keep trying to hit it. Maybe pull pull harder on the trigger, maybe. Oh, man. And I just goes bragging about it. Now it's broke. Oh, well. I guess I'll be using my other one. Can't get it to stop, though. You put it on the bolt, right? Yeah. All right. Uh. Great piece of junk. That's weird. I was just bragging about it, and now it's broke. What are the odds of that? You had on what one power? Isn't that all the way to the left is full? I think so. Because the other way is forward. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I can get my. I didn't even use that one. It's brand new, so it should should work. I put a little swivel connector on there. So I don't know how many pounds the torque is supposed to have, but it's not reverse. guessing that's highest I guess so like I say it's brand new I haven't used it yet <laughs> I've been using my Milwaukee tools but for this I thought we need this Just keep hitting it it should go no what the hell they do uh lock tight that fucker in there You gotta be kidding me. Try it in another setting, see if it's any faster. Is that any power more powerful or not? Oh, man. You wanna get a bigger breaker bar? I got a real long one. Let me go grab the long breaker bar. Just one? I just did that long. Does that one ratchet? No. No, unfortunately. But it's got a lot more sweep than that one you got. Oh yeah, I, well I just got that one, so cause that's like yeah, that's kind of close to that. Definitely. Yeah, longer. pretty close. But it, like I said, I think sometimes the the head makes a difference. Yeah, it, it doesn't flex. But yeah, I got this one out so that I could. Uh, the pipe worked. I good. got that one so that the pipe would fit over it. This will fit over the pipe too. Yeah. I think. So, so now I need it. Try to be able to ratchet. Okay. So that I can. I feel you. All right. Let me get out of the way. I see this going. That's better. I can't believe the impacts of me didn't get those loose. You know, it's crazy. Is that the last one? No. No. <laughs> I got two in the back. This one in the front. Holy shit. Well, I thought this would work, but I mean, it, w it would work probably. Yeah, we can, we'll use, I can use that it, one. We'll the, put it in here. Can I don't I want you. Me? I don't want you to break your ratchet. You know. There you go. I don't want you to break your ratchet, and that.
Got it? Yep. Alright. Wow. This is where it's hard because you gotta, like you said, you can't ratchet it. Tell me when you're on. You're on? Yep. Nothing like a, like a freaking, uh, a bar like this. I gotta have me a couple of these. We on? Yep. Sure? Yep. All right. Oh yeah, now it's loose. That one should be Now good. we're good. You on tight, push down on it. Ready? Yep. All right. I felt it give yeah. a little. Had some give to it. Yeah. Okay. You on? Yep. All right. Yep, there we go. Okay. Tricky. Ah, don't bang your Jeep with that thing. Well, I'm just glad that the breaker bar I bought didn't break. Seems everything else was failing for me. I can't believe a Husky trigger went out on it. That's crazy. I wonder if I put too much oil in it at one time or something. Or it's just old, man. It's been through a lot of, a lot of crap. We gotta miss that tube, the spark plug tube. You go back this way. I'll let you, t which way? Towards you. You might need a longer extension on it because of the spark plug tube. You know what I'm saying? I had one, but the problem is with the extension, then it hits up here. Oh, okay. How about so, a short extension? No. Because I um, have this one. Right. But it's too long. Mm. That sucks, man. How about uh, how about a the extension a short socket? 15 millimeter socket you got a short one that way it wouldn't be as far maybe it'll fit no. you need me to go get a short 15. yeah i don't have a half I'll, I'll get you one options i got uh, a short socket and a, a short extension when well, we try the long extension first and then that don't worry i got a short ex extend with a lock on it Let's try the short extension with the... With the deep well? Or deep yeah, socket? Okay. Because it's... All right. You got to pull down a little collar to lock it. You got locks in. I don't want... Yeah, I'll hold on to that. Oh, I guess that's an impact. Yeah, I'll hold uh, on to it until you get done. Well, you I didn't don't, know if it was an impact. I was like, I don't want to... Oh, yeah. These, yeah, all the black ones are impact I got. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is this the last one? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Then we gotta try to beat this head off. <laughs> Is it on? I don't think so. No. Pull it towards us. So. Oh, this way? Yeah, just the whole thing. See if it'll drop down. Maybe it is on. Can't see. You need a light? Yeah, make sure we don't want to strip the damn thing right now at this point. That would suck. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's do this then. You sure, right? Definitely looks on to me. Alright man, here we go. Got it, pushing down hard. There we go. It definitely came loose. Move it back one. Oh yeah, see it gets caught up in there like you said. <laughs> All right. You got the short one? Short socket? What do you do with a short socket? Oh, it fell on here. That's what I do with it. Oh crap, man. Stay there. All right, Will's failing in his job here. You ready? Yep. All right, it's loose. 
You got the rats on there now, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's real loose. Cutting like butter. <laughs> Put this out of the way. Uh, oh. Really disappointed that impact's not working. What the hell are air impacts are supposed to be the, you know, the, uh, uh -huh. the ultimate Hail Mary. Not so much. Man, I need to get that Thor one, I think, that, uh, the South Side Auto, or South Main Auto has, uh, this Eric guy, it's, uh, Astro makes this Thor hammer, it's supposed to be, like, really strong, so... Maybe that's what we're gonna invest in now. <coughs> All right. I don't know like how much. <coughs> well, now we know the electrical handle it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, not stretched out. Once we get them all done, we, we got new bolts, so I don't have to worry about it. But so once we get them all done, we can uh, put maybe put the caps on. Maybe we might be able to pull it off without the caps. Just put the caps on and put it back in, put the head in, made it easier to put the head in, but to get it out, we might be able to do it without, without doing that, so. Yeah, see that one, got a little weird wear on it. It's probably all right though. Glad we got new ones though. Oh, cool. I brought over here. <laughs> Some lapping compound on it and go from there, I guess. One goes one way, one goes the other. It doesn't really matter. Just so it, it holds the, the engine up. Oh, one goes this way? Yeah, so the weight can be distributed and we can I can lap it easier. Um, you, may, you can guide the holes. Just, what I usually do is stick them in like this. I go like this. Which hole do you put in? The bolt holes. So that one like that, and then this one, I just go the opposite direction like this. Should be a hole right there. Of course, trying to do it backwards. There we go. And then we just lift it, you know, hold those steady, then get, get it rotated up. There we go. Now it'll be easier to lap them with those stands on there. That should work a lot easier. There we go. All right, you got that uh, compound? The valve lapping compound? I bought some fine grade, if not. But uh, do you have any uh, 3M red pads at all? Let me go over to my garage, shut this off real quick, and go over to my garage. And it takes all the crap off without destroying anything. We'll start by doing the outside first, where the mating surfaces are. Then once we've dirtied on the outside surface, we need to get clean the best. Then we'll use it around the chambers a little bit to, to clean that up a little bit, so.
you never want to use a fiber, I mean a carbon scraper anything on this because you could tear up the surface material and, and it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be any good. So after all this work, we definitely don't want to have to redo that. So then we'll spray the whole head out real good before we get ready to we we'll have rubbing compound in there too, so we're gonna have to deal with cleaning all that crap out too. air first yeah we'll clean it all out and probably pull the plugs out and clean all in there real good too you know just to make sure that we You get any oil? Uh, that case of uh, the old the old motor I brought over. A little bit of that. You want to put on the valve stem so it doesn't prematurely wear the valves and you're rubbing them back and forth. I just, I just spray it, put it on a towel and then, but yeah, that'll be worth probably better for the next one.
you actually hear the sound change when it goes from coarser to finer because this actually breaks down the silica that's in it and when it gets uh where it's we're doing it you know a finer job it's broke down smaller crystals mm -hmm. it it sounds smoother you can tell there's i want to do this i allow some of the newer stuff to or not used stuff to go on and see how it's louder i don't know if you can hear that or not mm -hmm. and then as you go faster as you keep going i mean as you go longer it eventually gets a little quieter smoother and that means that it's doing the finer cutting now of course i just put some more coarse on it but we'll clean it off and then do another corner real quick and then we'll do the other valve too all right let's go ahead and we'll pull that out and uh clean it off and then we'll check it <sighs> oh that's looking good already of course it was a brand new valve <laughs> we just have to clean that up to see how that looks in there and these gotta be cleaned really good when we get done so we keep all mo all of that uh crap out of it. especially you don't want to get in the valve guides because it you know it's basically just help wear the valve guides out more so you want to try to get most of that crap out of there but uh Oh, yeah, it's doing a good job. The valve seats look really good. And then we'll use the Prussian blue to make sure that we got a good uh, good contact all the way around. But from what I can tell, it looks really good. So let me finish cleaning this off. And then now if you compare these two together, you can see the difference now, right? And I even cleaned this valve up all the way with the, from the lapping. Mm -hmm. uh, it just does a better job of getting a better seal on that. You can see where they cut it here from the factory mm -hmm. when they made the valve. So now we'll use the Prussian blue on it to see how it's fitting in there. You can also use die cam blue, and it's another way of checking the seats, but uh, we don't need to do that for what we're doing. All right. Put that in there and push it down. Now all we do is pop it back out. You don't, you don't spin it sideways or anything, you just pop it right back out. And then without touching it, we gotta look at the seat and the valve itself and make sure that it's completely impacted all the way around. It looks uniform from what I can tell. Let me try it one more time, make sure we get it. I might have put more on than I needed, but you just look and make sure it's uniform all the way around that there's no um, spots that don't have contact the same as the others. It should be kind of a push it out where I can grab it without. I touched a little bit of it there, but this is good. It's all the way around on there contacted looks like it we'll go a little bit further on there though we're gonna lap it a little bit more just to be on the safe side that one side looked a little bit high so we'll go ahead and, and uh, make sure The only thing I don't like is that one side over there looks a little bit uh, like it's uh, I don't know, like a little bit higher or lower, and I want to make sure that I, we're getting it good. All right, should work. 
work. We got oil still on the stem, so we're good there. All right. Make sure this is cleaned off so it doesn't have any grease on it. You see why people want to use the drill and cheat uh -huh. when this thing keeps falling off like that? People want to use the drill and cheat. And uh, this is irritating me too a little bit, but it's what you got to do sometimes. Where's that brake cleaner? Hard to believe that little hairline crack. I think there's a couple of them though. Is there a couple of them in there? So like, see right there? Oh yeah. Oh and hell yeah. look. Oh yeah. Looks like there's one there. Yeah, when they heat up they'll it looks expand. Like there's one there. Holy crap. Deja vu, do we have the same, did we do this one time before in another life? Because I swear we had that same conversation. Multiple cracks, or I dreamed it before it happened. Now I am losing my mind. I mean, you could tell it's cracked because why would this one oh, burn? You can why see would it. this one burn this way and this one wouldn't? Right, they're totally when yeah. They're, they're both the exact exhaust. Same thing. Same chamber. Same. It, it's just a different exhaust valve in the same chamber because these are two identical. These two are identical. Right. Same, you know. So clearly, this one's okay. Yep. This one wasn't. Yep. Well, you see the cracks in it, so that 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 I know for sure. So. Yeah, and this one you see nothing. Yep. <clears throat> nothing at all. Well, we saw them on that on the, my my little uh, bore cam. You could see the cracks a lot better on that. That one line across the top was really long. We see when we first pulled it out, I yeah, could see it like right there. It right goes there. goes down. Yeah. It's like there's one. Yeah, there's the other one. It's freaking insane. Yeah, just those little that cracks. Tiny little. Well, well, yeah, and you'd think because it was cold, it wouldn't be able to push that through there, but somehow it was. So it's I just don't know. Enough, just though. enough. 80% leakage though. You'd think there'd be a big hole in the damn cylinder, you know? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But when cool. you got one, two, three, almost four cracks that run the whole length of it. It's leaking all that pressure through there, yep. That's enough. Yep, sure is. That's looking even better than it did before. All right, we'll do the other valve and then we'll clean these up. We'll clean this whole head up with that red pad till we get it clean. What do you think? Yeah. Looks pretty good, huh? Yep. That's what I was thinking.
Yeah, I think it should work just fine. Anything's gonna work better than that. Yep. Do you have a Q-tip by any chance? Yes, I do. It'd be awesome. crap in the valve guide you don't want that shit in the valve guide that will wear your valve guides prematurely we do not want that all right that looks pretty damn good what i can tell yeah not too shabby that one side looks a little bit thin here maybe maybe it's just my eyes deceiving me but uh, we'll put some Prussian blue on there. With a Q-tip and we will do my last old school test. <coughs> All right. Just gonna do the old one thing I was taught a long time ago. I don't even know if this is the most accurate thing at all. Some of the price, no, it's not the most accurate, but you just put a light coat along here and you put the valve in and spin it by hand or just contact the valve and just spin it one little time. And if it, uh, you can see where it contacts on the valve and on here. And if it, if there's a high spot or a low spot by not. Let's see what happens when I do this. All See what it looks like. Uh, spin it or yeah, no? no, I'll just pop it out. I want to see what the contact points look like on the valve. <sighs> see, we got that spot right there. I think we need to land. That's pretty good, but that's got a high spot. So I'm thinking, where do we have a lot of stuff left yet? Yeah, we're gonna lap it a little more. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have to lap it some more. I'm not happy with that. Yeah, we're definitely gonna lap that some more. Clear, I guess.
with a couple penalties. A 43 on extra points. Yeah, any kind of grease just to hold the synthetic lubricant. Yep, sir. Yep, sir. Just put them on these, it'll hold them on, and you know how they go, right? With the smaller end in, like this. So, like when the valve it tapers goes, down, right? yeah, like this, they go on there, like that. See, and then the other one goes on the other side. Yeah, they're like half moons. Yep, I don't have a glass on, but there you go. See, it locks in, and that keeper comes up over the top of those. So, there we go. All right, you bitch to get in. <laughs> Put these two valves out of the way. Yeah, they don't give you they don't give you a lot of room for us. Let's put it on its side, it'll be easier to do. Oh, you know what? I put on the uh where those stupid gloves go that they gave me. Ha! <laughs> you use gloves, we give you. We give you gloves. You use. Um someone's gonna think, ah oh, yeah, that's not right. Shouldn't say that. Which, uh, you get this side over here, okay. Well, that was nice. Pull the buff in there. Did you already put them both in? Nah, yeah. Just gotta back this out so we can put my glasses on because I can't see without my glasses. It sucks to get old, man. All right. Get that over the top and then when I compress it, I like the other spring kind ones with a handle, but for these small ones, they just don't make them fit really well. All right. Start screwing that one down. There you go. That one on the So you should, if I put it sideways like that, you should be able to get both of them in. I'll go one more turn. Yeah, there we go. Right there. And you should be able to get both of them on each side if you put some grease on them. And then just slide them in on the, well, best you can. Damn fly. You can put one on this side and then just slide it around and put the other one on this. You know what I mean? It'll slide around the valve if you get it on there. Where's that light? <sighs> yeah, it's crooked. It's not in there. You get, where's that little magnet? It's stuck in there, though. Because of the grease, I guess, yeah. Go this way a little bit. There you go. You got any tweezers? <laughs> there you go. I should have made that shuts off, right? That'd be nice. And it fell off. The grease ain't holding it. Must be too much oil on there. Slide down the slot and it'll come back up on it. You got a little screwdriver where you can pull it down while you pull it off. You got it. Here's 
Where's where's the other one at? I think it's down on her. You just got the other one in there now. I think it's down on the. I'll leave you a lot of room, but. Can't tell if it's in the grooves or not. Just go down a little further with it. Let me let me try cranking it down a little bit more. You should be able to see the grooves. See around the valve, they're down quite a ways, so yeah. that's probably part of the problem. We're not down, we weren't down far enough, I don't think. This damn thing twists on me. There you go. Now you can see the grab. Now you can see the grooves. I'll hold it like this. It's a two-man job with these cheap tools. Thing, didn't they? Maybe if we uh, set over the edge of the table and did it straight up and down. Where tweezers would be the ideal thing. There you go. tied together they should be all right nope nope right. try going down a little bit more with it oh, this thing is coming off so it's hitting it oh shit okay Kevin Byard is the, is the safety to that half of the field, read the eyes of the quarterback. CD threw the hand up. 
Okay. Need to go tighter or what? We need to get more down. Maybe we need to go down more on it, I guess. Let's try that. Now try getting it on this side right there. Got some tweezers. <laughs> I don't even think tweezers are gonna help. No. No. Shit. Try when we'll put it back on the stand. It might be easier. Now nah, we do it way over here. There you go. You got that one. Perfect. Now just may I suggest we try. So, yeah, last time I tried spinning it. Okay, don't do that then. That's when it came off. All right, let's just try what you're doing then. Yeah, a little bit of room on this side to get in. I move it a tab, but then I'm afraid I'll mess that up if I do. So I'm just gonna go a little bit. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, we're good. As long as it don't hit it coming up. I think we're on it. All that. We finally got it. Whew, I was about ready to fall off this thing. Let's use the stands again. Because this is just freaking ridiculous. Holding it up like this. It should come off of there now. Probably have to turn the bottom side in a little bit. Spin it in. All right, good deal. So that works. Let's get those those two stands. Let's just do this one on the stands real quick. Grab me those stands right down there. Do this a little bit easier way. That one in there. If you hold that one, we can we'll just put them on these stands. All right, got that one. That one like that. That one like that. There we go. Now. Where the hell is that? <coughs> All right. What was that? That damn rod again to go into your car? Sounds like it's still going. Son of a biscuit. All right, after getting the, uh, I don't know if I got this when my GoPro went dead. We still got the water in it. We're setting it. How many minutes are we at now? I would say at least six minutes. Six or seven minutes. No water dropped. Not, nothing is gone. It's still up to the line. I mean, it's still like a almost a lip around it and so it worked these new valves work great so we'll uh add this to the video